This chapter deals with applications and specialized objects. In other words, the different types of special oracle objects created to deal with different types of applications. In relation to an oracle database, an application is a type of database. There are three types of databases I will deal with. The first database type is a client-server database, or quite often called a decision support system. The term or acronym DSS is sometimes used to cover all types of databases. Take note. Second type of database is an OLTP or internet database, and the third type is a data warehouse. Going back to client-server. The things or goodies or special objects that you can use in the different database types are directly related to the function and behavior of the database. So first of all, let's look at behaviors. A client server database generally has a limited audience, so therefore it has low concurrency. It is usually a mixture of both small and large transactions, which basically means it's comprised of a lot of small transactions with intensive DML change activity, plus it also contains batch operations and reporting, large transactions. What you can do with a client server database is to use dedicated server connections. An OLTP database, on the other hand, services the internet. So it has an extremely large audience and therefore requirements for very high concurrency. What do we mean by high concurrency? We mean that lots and lots and lots and lots of users are accessing that OLTP database all at the same time. A client server environment is effectively, for instance, within a single company. That company could consist of 10 people or even 50,000 people. So you could have between 10 and 50,000 concurrent connections. 50,000 is quite a lot. Dedicated connections generally only service at the most about 1,000 users at the same time. Well, in that case, you could actually use web and application servers. The difference between a client server and an OLTP database, well, the differences are actually twofold. The first is that the number of users potentially connecting to an internet OLTP database is an enormous order of magnitude much larger than a client server database. Think of something like eBay or eTrade or, or Yahoo. It's 24 hours, it's 365 days a year, it's online permanently. And potentially an internet site is online permanently all day in that batch operations and reporting cannot actually be executed on an OLTP database without affecting that 24 hour DML change activity availability of that database. It is sometimes the case where OLTP DML activity is combined with reporting and batch operations. However, this is usually for a very small internet site, not with the millions of users in concurrency, potentially millions of users. What quite often happens with an OLTP database when its concurrency gets so high any type of batch operations or reporting is actually extracted from the OLTP architecture and placed into a separate database, namely a data warehouse. The data warehouse is updated periodically, for instance once a day or even several times a day based on the need for reporting structures by applications. What I'm going to cover in this chapter is where the different types of specialized Oracle objects fit. What we will focus on is basically OLTP and data warehouse databases because they are two extremes. A client server database tends to combine the architecture of both OLTP and data warehouse type databases and therefore is somewhere in between the two.